Hey guys, I'm back with another little mini review and I wanted to talk about uh, Maison Francis Kirk de Jong's Baccarat Rouge 540 and a couple of similar fragrances that I found because unfortunately I cannot afford a whole bottle of that right now as much as I would love to purchase it. It is very expensive. It is absolutely worth it. Um, I have it here on my wrist it is a little bit sweet which I love I love gourmands I love sweet fragrances so it's it's just sweet enough I don't think it's cloying or overpowering um, because it's balanced with some smoky notes and a little bit of citrus so it's just really beautiful it actually smells um, very high-end very luxurious um, expensive I've heard some people say that it smells expensive and it does it really does it smells like something um, maybe a celebrity would wear, I'm sure they do, but that's what, that, it, it, when you wear it, you feel, like, special. Like, I cannot smell it on my wrist, actually. I, I can smell that there's something there, but, you know, I think it's more the projection that people get. That's where, you know, kind of the magic comes in is, you know, how it projects. Uh, and, and also the longevity is really, it lasts all day. If I put it on my clothes, I can smell it at the end of the day. Um, so I, like I said, I wanted to venture out and see what I could find. Oh, let me tell you the notes. Um, citrus, jasmine, saffron, sage, I'm going to probably butcher this, but ambergris, ambergris, uh, oak moss, and cedar. And I love every single one of those notes in this. So, uh, I think that if you have the funds, I do recommend this one. I think you will love it. Now, I haven't smelled the x version. Um, I have read that it's more concentrated. So, I think for this next one, the Dua Fragrances Casino Royale, um, this is an x de Parfum. And I feel like I have an inkling that this might be closer to the x straight version of Baccarat Rouge because it is powerful. Like, it will blow you out of the room kind of fragrance. Uh, it's definitely going to make an appearance before you do. It is very oily. Um, so, to me, that means more concentrated. It lasts literally forever. If you get it on anything, you won't get it off. You could probably wash it and get it off, but um, I got it on my watch band, and I could smell it a week later. And every time I tried to, like, smell my wrist for the other fragrance I put on that day, all I could get was uh, this this one. So, um, yeah, it's Dua Fragrances Casino Royale. It is inspired by <clears throat> the Baccarat Rouge 540, so I would say they are extremely, extremely similar. Um, the notes are... Indonesian jasmine, saffron, orange, there's the citrus, marigold, and buchu. Don't know what that is. Middle notes are cyclamen, ambroxan, and oak moss. And the base, note, base notes are Moroccan cedar, ambergris, and balsam fir. So you see that they're extremely similar as far as notes. There is a sharpness that I don't enjoy as much. But my husband loves it, so he's been using it a lot more. And I don't know if you can see, but he's made quite a dent in it. Um, I don't reach for it as often just because I feel like it's a little bit more masculine, uh, a little bit too masculine for my taste. Um, I, you know, I like woodiness. I like, you know, that depth, but it's a little bit too sharp. And I almost get, for me, I get like mechanic vibes, um, not in a bad way, just like that. I don't know. I don't know if it's the oil. Definitely something in there that's a little, that's a lot sharper. I don't know if you can see how oily that is. And it's just so, so powerful. So powerful. Um, so if you do not have, you know, the funds, I would say that this would be something more affordable that, and then you would get kind of the same, you know, as far as the experience, I think you, you get kind of the same experience. As far as scent, uh, the quality is definitely different. Um, just, you know, I don't know if 
the sharp note if it's because of the blending or I don't know but there's definitely a sharpness that I don't enjoy as much but the sweetness is there it has a lot of the same notes um the other one that I found that had like similar uh not really notes because the notes are actually quite different but just the sweetness is very similar is Ariana Grande's Cloud <coughs> excuse me I have a tickle in my throat um and I think this is extremely bulky and kind of obnoxious so I would actually just take this little guy right out and this is annoying to get off so I would just chuck that and just keep this cutie it's a very cute little bottle and I really like this one um it's a little bit more fruity I get something minty there's no mint in it but I get something minty um the notes are top notes are bergamot pear lavender little notes are coconut whipped cream praline and vanilla orchid and the base notes are woody notes and musk so you know woodiness musk um there was no musk in the other two but yeah maybe it's the, i don't know maybe it's the musk there's something something a little minty um but you get the sweetness you get some of the citrus you get some of the woody but there are different notes that make it just a little bit more different than the baccarat rouge i wouldn't say that they were um clones you know i, I, I wouldn't i wouldn't say that that one's a clone i would say it's it's maybe 80 85 percent similar i get the sweetness i do see how i could remind somebody of baccarat rouge but it's it's just it's not the same i i i, I love it i enjoy it um I actually that's why i bought a bottle i don't normally buy bottles but i tested it a few times in the store and i really like it for like every day just like spray it's not very expensive it's, so you know you get 1.7 fluid ounces for like 52 dollars so, which I think is really good. Um, so, that is what I found, and I wanted to share that with you guys um, because I love smelling new things. So, um, check back with me. I'm going to try to upload videos once a week. I know I haven't been very good at it. Um, i got two little people that are very demanding for my attention. So, um, I'm going to try harder and get you know at least one video a week out of you know what I'm wearing or you know what something also I'll, I have ideas in my head and at night sometimes I can't sleep with all these uh ideas running around in my head so thank you guys for watching I'm very excited to make more videos for you and I just wanted also to thank everybody um that has commented and liked and shared my posts I feel so like honored to be part of this community I really do I I think that um, it's such a beautiful thing when people come together and are supportive and loving and I don't get any kind of negative vibes from anyone um, that I have uh, interacted with so I just wanted to thank everybody you guys are all beautiful I really enjoy your content um, and I will see you guys next time bye